Action News Now Storm Tracker Weather. Coverage you can count on. Welcome back to Action News Now at 6 p.m. on this Saturday evening. Temperatures today ended up in the mid to high 50s in the valley. Right now we're seeing 40s to lower 50s in the valley, 40s in the foothills, and mostly 20s to low 40s in the mountains, cooling down rather quickly. We are tracking some wind that's mostly out of the north right now, up to around 6 miles an hour. But south winds are going to start to develop later on this evening. They'll be mostly light tonight, and then some gusty winds out of the south for tomorrow, up to 25 miles an hour. Now, here is the main event for the weekend on the way. Winter storm warning going into effect 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, lasting through 10 a.m. on Monday. That's going to be in effect uh, through the same time frame for areas of the Western slopes of the Sierra, but that's a winter weather advisory. 4 a.m. tomorrow through 10 p.m. tomorrow in areas of the northern mountains and northern Shasta County area, as well as Modoc County. So with timing here a little bit different. Intensity certainly looks to be uh, the worst in areas on the western slopes of the Sierra. Up to a foot of snow, looking likely down to as low as 4,500 feet above 7,000 feet. We could be looking at 17 inches of snow on the way. Meanwhile, areas. Up north of Shasta County are going to be seeing the potential for snowfall down to 3,500 feet. Could see up to around 6 inches of snowfall down to that amount. And we could be seeing up to 8 inches of snowfall in Shasta County tonight through tomorrow. So get ready. This is a big event on the way. We're seeing cloudy skies this evening. It's been a lull in the active weather today. But that low pressure right now centered in the Gulf of Alaska providing a lot of moisture. That's going to be moving inland after midnight tonight. And that's going to ramp up overnight and through early tomorrow. And then mostly lighter showers and the potential for thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. So very active conditions out there for your Sunday. Snow levels 4,000 feet in the Sierra down to 3,500 feet in areas of Shasta County in the northern mountains. But lifting a little bit late in the day. And then we do mostly dry out by Monday with another wet system possible as we head into Tuesday night and Wednesday of next week. Now rainfall through midnight, not looking like a whole lot going on. Midnight through tomorrow morning, looks like we could be seeing up to around a half an inch of rainfall in the valley. That does really ramp up through the day tomorrow. Taking a look at the latest projection, Chico over an inch of rain, almost an inch in Orville, over a half an inch in Redding. Higher elevations looking at decent totals as well. Paradise, almost two inches of rain on the way as we head through tomorrow. Snow totals looking very impressive heading through the Sierra, mainly tomorrow through the day, up to a foot of snow looking very possible. So big travel impacts are likely if you're in the mountains. As far as what we're seeing for today, rain and snow on the way for your Sunday in the northern mountains, mostly 40s for your high temperatures. We'll see rain, snow, and a chance for thunderstorms with snow levels mostly dipping to 4,500 feet in the Sierra on Sunday. For the foothills, we'll see upper 30s to high 40s and the chance for rain and thunderstorms in the forecast. Rain looking likely a chance for thunderstorms. Temperatures in the valley, 30s overnight with 50s. For tomorrow, we'll see that chance for thunderstorms along with the rain and mid valley areas. Mostly low to mid 40s this evening, ending up in the low 50s to mid 50s tomorrow with rain and a chance for afternoon thunderstorms. Your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast for your weekends always in view. Rain is on the way for Sunday with that chance for thunderstorms. Breezy winds are expected but will be dry Monday and Tuesday. Then we see showers returning late Tuesday in through Thursday of next week. Another lull in the active weather expected on Friday. And then more showers looking possible as we head into next weekend. Linda, this is what we want our seven day forecast to look like. Tomorrow is going to be very active. The next two waves of wet weather don't look to be quite as strong and temperatures not changing much over the next week. Overnight lows mostly in the 30s for the valley. Daytime highs mostly in the 50s. All right, that's what.